I had wanted to go to art school and also to theological school. So the philosophic spiritual side of my interest in text, poetry, philosophy was part of it. And my other interest in color, in form, were combined in those majors. And my father, who was an engineer, said, Joni, to major in religion as well as art, it's got to be nuts, really. Um, neither one is going to be um, a profession that you can probably make a living at, but he was very generous and paid for my college education, Connecticut College at the time, Connecticut College for Women. And we were encouraged to be forceful and strong in our interests. What really moved us was important and made us feel strong as women artists. Hello, I'm Joan Stewart Ross, and I'm a painter, printmaker, and collage artist. I also work in encaustic painting. I've been working with encaustic since 94, so that's 30 years. And I work also with end oil paint and collage materials. The collage that I've been using are drawings that I've been doing uh, throughout my career. My early family life was in Boston, Massachusetts, and my summers was spent at Whitehorse Beach. The beach's colors were a huge influence on my work. There was the yellow of the sand, the blue of the ocean, the Atlantic, and I think that the, that combination of complementary colors and the intensity of the sun in New England in the summer had a huge influence on me even though I came to live in the Northwest. And I was accepted at Yale Divinity School. I took a class at the art school taught by Joseph Albers, but I lo loved mostly the color class that Albers taught. And I learned all about color dynamics, which I hadn't really realized was both scientific and um, inspirational, and it came from both your mind and your spirit. It, it was a combination of things. And Joseph Albers was a very dedicated teacher, and he would come to our class and tell us we had created a world, a new world, which I think opened up the world for me. Some of the work that I created while studying with Joseph Albers and his color dynamics class included leaf studies. Albers did ask his students to go out and collect leaves and put them together. But what it brought, I think, to my work was the intense attention that one learned in looking at specific elements of something small in nature that was usually discarded. Teaching for me as a profession allies itself with being a creative person and a full-time artist. I taught full-time and I worked at my studio full-time, late at night till two. The teaching profession is a humane job. It's a job that reaches out to people and also brings people in close. So, and the, the teacher can affirm herself as someone who gives and learns from at the same time. Mr. Richard Lacocious was a really big influence because he personified the love of teaching. He showed me that I could also be a person who helped young artists and a person who went ahead using my knowledge in art to also be an artist. Yes, I received the Betty Bowen Prize in 1981, and I was the first woman to receive that. I wasn't really informed that I was the winner, so I um, was wondering whether I would go to the party, because I had entered my work. 
And um, the director of contemporary art at the museum did had said, Bruce Gunther had said, gee, Joan, Joni, maybe you better come to the party. We're going to have a party, you know. And I thought, maybe I should go. But my mother was visiting from Boston, and we had sort of an agenda, which included the party. I said, Mom, let's go to the party. So we went. And lo and behold, they rushed toward us with little glasses of sherry. And there on the, in the foyer of what is now the Seattle Asian Art Museum was a, an easel with a painting on it with a cloth over it. And the drape was lifted and lo and behold, it was my painting. So I was the uh, very honored winner of the Betty Bowen Prize at that time. And it has continued to be a wonderful prize for artists here in this region. A large series of work, Play Within a Play. And Play Within a Play, of course, refers to what's going on under the surface. The main element is what's being on stage, but there's all sorts of things going on underneath that are not talked about or known or ever shared. And the Play Within a Play really is an ongoing search for me to find that um, hidden element that's underneath what you see. Wherever my studio is, is my favorite place. I once remarked to a good friend, I don't think any landscape is my favorite exactly. And she said, Joni, your favorite place, your favorite landscape is your studio. And she was right.